Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Mike Barron, and Mike, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank Welcome you. to the channel. And today's car is a, it's a classic, and I'm going to grab the cameras I usually do. So, Mike, what did you, uh, what classic did you bring here today? Well, we have a 1965 Mustang. It's a True GT 289 four barrel V8. Um, picked it up well, about two years ago, and it's been on the list, and just fell in love with it, so I had to have it. And the 65 was the first year for all intents and purposes. For all intents and purposes, It was a 64 yes. and a half, but so let's go right to our featured attraction. And we specifically positioned it in the sun on this wonderful November day in the Chicagoland area so that you can see this. And the interesting thing with the 65, and we're going to prove that later, was the 65 was kind of the car that women were paying a lot of attention to, or at least that's the way the marketing was designed, because it was a really different stylistic car at the time. Now, Mike, you picked the 65. Uh, tell me a little bit about this one in particular. Well, this one being a GT, which is, they're rare, um, not real rare, but it's a high-performance version of the Mustang. And you mentioned the ladies' version. Well, it's, maybe it's getting me out of the ladies' version with the GT. Um, but it was a high performance, high, prefer, high performance. And, uh, and, and the reason why we say that is usually there were, in this time frame, there were usually six cylinders. Yes. So they weren't known as, uh, you know, the great runner. And the GT was really more to macho it up a little bit. Clearly, you were sharing there was a fastback version. This is obviously the coupe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got the... Uh, I think these wheels came out the year afterwards, didn't they, or were they actually? No, they, you could get them in '65. Oh, yeah. really? Okay, yep. so they were a GT GT option. Yes. And these are such great rims. Mm-hmm. You know, from the factory, it really kind of match it up your car. Yeah, I had to have that over hubcaps. On my bucket list, I had to have the V8. I had to have these wheels. For my wife, on the other hand, she wanted a lighter colored interior and air conditioning. So it took a while to find the complete package. What's the color of the car? It's Wimbledon white. Wimbledon. Stock color from back then. And just a very simple styling in the, but yet in the grill here. The jewelry, as I like to call it, on the car. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look at the notch back there. You get to see that quick chop there. Versus in the background, you see more of the fast back looks. <laughs> yes. Thus, the buddies with the Mustangs yeah. there. And we're patriotic here with our red, white, yeah, blue. the red, white, and blue. Exactly. Now, these tell me about the fluted exhaust here. That is with the GT package, also. It's the dual exhaust. Gives it a nice little rumble. Yeah. I love the. Uh, the simple tail lights quickly die, you know, mm -hmm. die cast it out. That that say, let's open the interior. Sure. I want to just get that little Ford logo there. Now you shared a couple of cars were taken apart to build this one. Yeah, the gentleman I who restored it, who I got this from, was restoring a '65 convertible for his father, and the engine in that car was shot, so he needed a period correct engine so we bought this vehicle which actually was burnt out it was really not worth <laughs> keeping so I bought the engine put the engine in the convertible then realized this was a GT so then he elected to restore this one find a period correct engine for this tell me about these seats here this is a pony interior package another option so clearly you could see the ponies in the interior so to speak mm-hmm and we've got the gauging here with the turn indicator, the fog light is a... Fog lights with the GT, and then up on the steering column here, the rally pack with the tachometer and clock. Let's feature that. Word rally pack with a tack. And that was pretty cool for 65. Mm -hmm. I mean, to have a tack. We've got our 140 mile an hour speedometer. Our gauging and the clock that works. Now a little upgrade on the radio. Still has the Mustang there, but that's uh, an upgrade. Here's the temp and the vent. 
Now we've got a unique option here. What do we have here? That is factory air conditioning. They Fact had it back in 65 and still works. Factory air. That still works. In the cruise automatic. I always enjoyed how they had the separate hump there showing mm -hmm. you are passenger, you are you are driver, giving each one now let's let's take a look at the trunk for one moment. Because there's, sometimes I don't always do the trunk, but we're going to do the trunk this time because we've got a few little toys for you in the trunk. And as I mentioned to you about this advertisement was in a magazine, and I'll let people read that accordingly, but showing the guy with the girl, and she's got the silly giggle look on, like, oh my gosh, you've got a Mustang. And some of the GT information, here's your rally pack, the dual quads and all the dress up cobra pieces I like that with the GT performance car and the fastback on the bottom and the fastback on the bottom there's your fastback look fastback there and then look at the trunk of this car is immaculate with the all the information there. Filler there. All right, let's uh, shut that. Okay. Let's take a look under the hood. I want to just get that badge one more time. Now, technically, people are going to immediately go, it's not a K code. We get that. <laughs> but it does have all the dress up of the K code. Correct. Really looks nice with the Ford factory air, and there's kind of the overall look of the engine compartment. Mike, let's start her up. All right. Let's have you stand right next to her, Mike. Mike, what a fun car. It is. What, what's the reaction of people when you're driving this? A lot of thumbs up. I, I didn't realize I would get that when I originally got it, but it was so surprising. The first day we brought it home, I'd be at stoplights and people beeping horns and thumbs up, and that's a thrill. <laughs> Isn't that the best part about the car? Absolutely. I call it an instant friend maker. Yes. <laughs> well, well, thanks for sharing your 65 Mustang, your instant friend maker with us, and uh, thanks for being on the channel. Thanks for being on my car store. Thank you. Appreciate it.